Hi, everybody. Today we will use all these parts that you see on my table, a motor, a propeller, wheels, radio equipment, and a battery to make a radio control plane. The links for all the equipment used are in the video description section. This is the plane drawing. The link for it is in the video description section too. Place the drawing parts on the styrofoam piece, fix them with a two-sided tape, and cut along the lines. Glue all four bottom parts of the wings together. Use a two-component adhesive. Put some glue on all the ends and wait till it dries out a little. Press the parts together. Take a piece of plastic about 30 centimeters long, glue it like this to connect the wings. Glue the upper part of the wing on top of this part. Fix the outer parts of the wings the same way. It should look like this. This is the front part. The motor should be placed here. Attach the rest of the fuselage to the back. Insert an additional frame into this part. Glue the rudder fin and the horizontal stabilizer together. Put some additional glue here. Glue the two parts of the fuselage together. Attach the wings to the fuselage. Copy the markings from the drawing. Assemble the chassis. Here are the two front wheels. They are bigger than the rear one. After you glue everything together, you'll need to glue all seams again with a polymer adhesive. Attach a small board here with glue. Attach the rear wheel here. Fix this part with screws to make holes in the fuselage. Take the screws out, put some glue onto them, and tighten the screws again. It should be firm. The shock absorber works fine without any sound. Take the hinges, put a little glue onto them, and insert them into the wing. Attach the hinges to the elevating rudder. They should be placed on the bottom side. Glue the hinges and the ailerons very carefully. Glue the elevating rudder the same way. Insert a small board into the front part. Fix it with glue. Attach the motor to the plastic piece. Fasten it with screws. Insert the wires into this hole. Now 
Attach these horns to the ailerons and the elevating rudder. Place the aileron controlling servo into the front part of the fuselage. Make two holes in the servo arms larger. Their diameter should be 2 millimeters. Insert the rod holders into the holes. It should look like this. Mount the elevating rudder servo here. Connect an extension cord to the elevating rudder servo wires. Connect the speed controller to the motor with the connector plugs. Connect this triple wire from the speed controller to the receiver channel 3. The orange wire should be on the top. Connect the aileron servo to channel 1. Connect the elevating rudder servo wire to channel 2. This white wire is a controlling wire. It should be on the top. The red and black ones are the positive and negative. Turn on the remote. OK. Power the speed controller. The servos should be in the starting position now. Attach the aileron rods like this. Set the propeller. Check the elevating rudder. I can't wait to try it out, at least to check out a Kentaxi. Put all the parts inside. Attach them with two-sided tape. It looks like this. Cover it all with a piece of styrofoam and fix it with tape. Place the two receiver antennas along both sides of the fuselage. Use a colored tape or a self-adhesive film to cover the plane. This is how the plane looks now. I put some film on it. I like how it looks now. This is the place I found for tryouts. I pulled the grass around here. It would be better on a road. I'm far away from the city, and there are no roads here. Let's try and take off from the ground. I hope it's going to make it. If not, I'm going to perform a hand launch. I have no head or body fixtures for my camera, though I have a mouth holder, so I'll hold it there. So there will be neither talking nor emotions from me. Let's start. I turned it around because it was going wrong. So the propeller, one of its blades, is broken because of my laziness. I didn't want to go to some road and the plane hit a rock, but the thing is holding on. It's still firm. Now I must perform a hand launch because the propeller is hitting the ground.
this is sad. Phew. Crap. Now the propeller is shattered. The fuselage is damaged too. Well, it's not that simple. At least the battery did not explode. So, I showed you how to make a plane, but I couldn't show you how to fly it. I'll make another video about how it flies. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting tutorials for you coming up soon. See you! Let's look what happened to it. The wheels came apart, the propeller is shattered, the wheel support is pulled out, and this flap is broken too. Hmm. This plane crashed because of me being a lazy douche. I was too lazy to go and find some tarmac or to find some common road.